Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rentway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for May 15th, 2023. So last week we had just kind of a bull bear battle where we were fighting and fighting and fighting to find out who was going to gain some dominance. Unfortunately, I don't think we resolved any issues here on the week. And this morning we have a little bit of futures trying to pop up here this morning, but an awful lot of resistance in the charts to be thinking about. So what does that mean for this week? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you a bunch for being here this morning. I do truly appreciate it. Well, we have an interesting week shaping up. Um, Goldman put out their CTA report, the computer traded um, uh, side of their report, that suggests that the big institutions, the big uh, trading um, CTAs, are likely going to be a little bit on the light side um, um, on any up tape and be actually fairly aggressive on any down tape. So what that means is, is we may have to rely on corporate buybacks this week to find any major inspiration. We'll have to see there's enough energy in continuing to do that. So let's take a look here. As you can see with the diamonds, we broke back down here on Friday. We came back down, retested this 50 day moving average again. And right at the end of the day, as a matter of fact, we spent most of the day moving down. And in the last hour of the day, we rallied back up. And that's been kind of the normal here lately. Um, uh, bears pushing and then buyers coming right in at the end of the day um, so what we have going on here as you can see this downtrend that we've got and that downtrend break we're still hanging in there on that downtrend break trying to hold that area of support now last night we had futures looking lower but by this morning they've got them all pumped back up for a gap up open so as we look at this chart if you take a take note here there may be the possibility that what we're seeing here is a bit of a head and shoulders topping pattern coming into play on the diamonds we we'll want to watch that pretty closely but if those bulls find inspiration today well, let's look right over here. We, as you can see, we've got some price resistance in the chart right along this area that we'd want to be watching for. And if they can push through that, then there might be upside opportunity right into this next level of price resistance in the chart. If the bears were to find inspiration for today, well, as you can see, we're, we've popped back up, gapping back up through that little area of um, support right in here and so if the bears find inspiration maybe a retest back down here and I would say somewhere around that um, that bullish breakout line and if that were to fail I think we retest that 50-day moving average and see if that holds for another another test so watch carefully for that now let's take a look at our spy SPY and by the way Diamond Spy and IWM remain in this choppy zone. Um, all of this trading time and all we're doing is just chopping back and forth. And you're probably seeing that in some of your accounts where you're really, really frustrated here on the market um, because no matter what you do, either going long or short, it has a little bit of difficulty making you much money because of the chop here in the market. When we take a look at the SPY, well, the SPY is in a better position than the diamonds is, but if those bulls find inspiration today, I would suggest that we retest this level up here again to see if we can push on through. And if they can't push through that level up here, or can push through that level, I would look for a retest to see if we can break out of this big resistance area that we've been stuck under here for so long. If the bears were to find inspiration, well, the only thing I can show you here is that possibility that we could retest those lows that we've been bouncing down here, trying to break down through, and the buyers just stubbornly push it right back up. And, and by the way, 
on low volume, they continue to push it back up. We're not getting good strong volume here on those numbers. So we'll want to watch that close. Now, if we take a look at the uh, a break of this support level, then we're probably going to be moving down into the bottom side of this range, which we have been there before and possibly coming into that 50 day moving average. So watch that carefully for that possibility. If we were to take a look at our QQQ, well, QQQ is the only um, chart that continues to remain very, very bullish here in the market. We were stuck for a long period of time, but we've finally broken out of that. Friday was a pretty good test of that support and those buyers came rushing in again at that last hour of the day to push us up. So I think if those bulls continue to find inspiration, well, then we're going to be reaching up into these areas of the chart. You can see there's a little bit of price resistance that we've got right in that area of the chart. We might reach up into there. And if they can push through that, then I think maybe this high point out here maybe the place would go in the NASDAQ. If we look for the bearish side of the market, well, the bears push maybe another retest of that price support area in the chart and if that were to break maybe we start pushing back down to test some of these levels in here and maybe even challenge this trend area in the chart don't be too surprised if we just have to rest here continue to wander around in the qqq um, before we make that decision whether we're going to go higher or break lower. If we take a look at our T21, whoops, not T21, IWM. If we take a look at our IWM, well, doggone this thing. It just continues to be range bound, continues to suffer under this downtrend. It is the most bearish of our indexes, continues to struggle against this resistance level in the chart. Once again this morning, we're trying to pop up in the pre-market. We'll see if there's enough buyers to push us up in there. And if those bulls do find that inspiration, well, I'm going to look right up in this area here to see if they can push through. Um, I'm not going to hold my breath on that, at least at the moment. We're going to need something major to move us through there. And if the bears find inspiration, well, maybe a retest back down into here. And if that fails, right back down here into that support level that we've been chopping around here on the Russell. If we take a look at our VIX, our VIX, well, we continue to stay stuck in a range. Here again, lots of wicks in here where the bears were fighting uh, for dominance and then the bulls came in and fighting back for dominance. We're not moving. We continue to stay stuck right in this range between 17 and 18 handles here in the VIX. We have no fear in this market, which seems really odd to me considering the overall condition of our economy. But let's keep an eye on that. If those bulls find inspiration, well, let's look for a break of this area of support here. See if we can start pushing down into those 16s. And if the bears find inspiration, well, let's look right up here. See if we can finally break through this up here and we push up toward those 18s and then on up into the 19s. So watch that carefully. If we take a look at our T2122, well, our T2122 showed us a lot about what was going on last week. Despite the pushback in the market, notice that we continued to decline in T2122. So where did the bulls come in at? Well, they came in on very select stocks. Um, they're only pushing on very select stocks and it makes you wonder how much longer that can continue. And those very select stops, stocks happen to be the tech giants. We can lift enough of the tech giants. We keep the index stuck, um, trying to move up, continue to give that impression that everything is bullish while lots and lots of stocks are continuing to move lower. So looking at our T2122, as you can see, we've got uh, plenty of upside opportunity in here if those bulls find inspiration and lots of opportunity if the bears find inspiration as well. And by the way, continue to get questions on T2122. Remember, this is nothing more than a four week new high, new low ratio. And really all it tells us is whether or not we're in a oversold or overbought condition 
here in the market. That's about it. It doesn't tell us which direction the market's going to go. If we take a look at our T2108, well, T2108 is more of an internal read of the indexes. And you can see that percentage of stocks holding above the 40 day moving average. So these really, these indicators really are not all that complicated to understand. Um, and what you can see here in this chart is percentage of stocks above the 40 day moving average is running right around 40%, um, which was a teeny tiny improvement um, on the end of the day. But as you can see, we continue to remain locked between this range. There's a lot of price resistance in here. There's price support in here. So we're stuck in the middle of this range. And as you can see, we're, we seemingly are just winding this around out into some kind of a pennant pattern, a little bit of symmetrical triangle in here. We can't seem to find that inspiration to uh, break out or break lower. If we take a look at our T2107, well, T2107, very much the same. We continue to stay stuck between a resistance level and a support level. This is the percentage of stocks above their 200-day moving average. Notice we flattened out here a little bit on Friday with that rally back up, 38, 39% of the stocks holding above their 200 day moving average but we can also see this really big ugly head and shoulders pattern in here and if that were to play out and we break that neckline that would suggest from the head to here if that breaks that neckline to the downside that's a pretty sharp move uh, to the downside that could occur maybe we're back down here testing these lows if that plays out if those bulls can push on through here well, maybe we just ignored this. That's not going to be a problem, but watch that carefully. If we take a look at our T2101, now T21 is the absolute breadth of the market. So what it's looking for is momentum, and that's how you want to look at T2101. Where's the momentum? And you can see that the momentum in here, well, has just been dying on the vine. We, we're chopping in a smaller and smaller range. We're coming down here to the low side of this uh, momentum. So what we need is some kind of a some kind of a move, and that's what we're waiting on. We're e we're waiting on either that big bullish move or that big bearish move to spike that momentum here. But we just can't seem to get anything going here. And with the volume being so low. I'm not sure um, we're getting really great data from this anyway. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar here for today. Now, our economic calendar is relatively light, but we have a few things here that we want to be paying attention to. And as the week progresses, it gets a little bit busier. Um, if you can um, see right here today, we've got an Empire State manufacturing number. Now, we know these manufacturing numbers have been horrible. And by and large, we have absolutely ignored them. The fact that our um, um, economy is slowing, that our manufacturing is slowing down dramatically has made no difference to this market at all. So perhaps it won't make any difference today. We'll wanna watch that closely. Then we've got several Fed speakers here today that we'll wanna be paying attention to. Treasury International Capital, which nobody's gonna pay attention to and then a couple of short-term bond auctions. If we take a look on the rest of the week, well, we have some big numbers out here. Tuesday, we're gonna have retail sales before the market opens. That certainly is one of those market moving numbers, industrial production, business inventories, and then housing market. Again, lots of Fed speakers this week. We're gonna have housing starts and permits on Wednesday with the petroleum status and a 20 year bond auction. We've got our normal um, jobless claims on Thursday, the Philly Fed and existing home sales coming in there on Thursday, natural gas report and a Fed balance sheet at the end of the day. And then we've got um, obviously more Fed. And as we move into Friday, notice over here, pretty much all fed. We're going to get uh, William speaking and then we've got the big guy himself, Jerome Powell will be out there talking. So um, a lot of fed speak this week to potentially move us around. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar for today. Now, keep in mind on the earnings, uh, we are starting to diminish in the number of earnings. This week has a pretty big theme of retail with Home Depot and 
several other retailers that'll be in there to report. But today, um, not that much going on in here that would be really market moving. But the notables I pulled out for today are CTLT. We'll want to keep an eye on that. That's reporting. Um, healthcare has been, some areas of healthcare have been struggling hard. Some have been doing really, really well. Keep an eye on this. That could make that decision here that we're either going to start popping up and moving back to the upside or if this thing's going to break down from these major support levels in the chart. Um, if we take a look, there is Ride that we'll be reporting today. Obviously, ugly downtrend here in the chart. We'll want to keep an eye on that. Uh, it's hard to say that this is a notable just being 34 cents or are we? Yeah, 34 cents stocks. Um, hardly, hardly notable, but um, just simply because it is so darn bearish. Um, that possibility that it could pop a little bit here today. We got TSEM that will be on the list today. Obviously, this has had a major rundown um, here in the chart. Uh, that double top high uh, bringing us all the way back down here and down here hard. Keep an eye on that. You can see it's trying to pop up here this morning. If you take a look at NVTS, these are the notables for the day. Um, NVTS, little cup and handle pattern showing here on NVTS. Considerable resistance above, but that possibility that this may handle out if we can get a good report that might pop on through here on MVTS. That's the, that's the extent of it for today. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could also do me that favor, that would be click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. I want to say thank you so, so much for everyone who does do that. I truly appreciate it. And um, also just a big shout out to everyone who shares these videos out on your social media feed. Um, that helps a ton. And uh, for those folks that continue to support the channel through the Buy Me A Coffee link, which is just below the title of the video, thank you so much. Let's take a look at some of these stocks setting up. And remember, guys, these aren't recommendations to buy or sell any securities. As a matter of fact, you need to do your own due diligence. Be very, very careful in this market because of the potential big moves that this could create. We've been, uh, I kind of, it's kind of like we've been winding up. We've been winding a spring and winding a spring and winding a spring. And we're, we're so tight in that spring wind that we could pop really big in either direction. And the thing is, you just don't know which until that spring breaks and we snap and just take off um, in, in a big direction. Don't know where that's going to be, so just be a little bit careful about over trading this market. First off, let's take a look at a few things that I think are pretty important here. We've had a major strengthening in the US dollar. When the US dollar strengthens, that is a negative factor most of the time for commodity prices. Now, commodity prices, and we've we've seen some really dramatic selling um, in some of the oil sector stocks really coming down here, as you can see, uh, pulling back. Um, let's keep a close eye on these. It, it, um, as they continue to come down. Now, one of the reasons that's happening is the strength of the dollar right now. But the other reason is that we're seeing such a demand destruction um, in the economy here as consumers are pulling back and slowing down. So watch that carefully. There may be some pretty good short setups in here on this sector. And if the dollar continues to strengthen, that would probably make that a worse situation. Now, if we take a look at um, other commodities like precious metals, um, silver certainly got smacked pretty hard here, breaking down below a support level and all at once 
moving down. So I think any rally back in here could set up that possibility of that short move here in silver. But what was interesting is with the banking situation going on out there, gold held in here stubbornly uh, strong so keep an eye on gold you might want to watch that closely we're still working to kind of slide out here toward this trend watch that closely gold remaining stubbornly strong and 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 we continue to see countries like china and, and russia uh, they're buying up vast quantities of gold continuing to remain uh, keep pressure on um, this metal so watch that closely now on the other hand if we look at other shiny metals um, I would say copper um, copper is often times talked about as a marker for the strength of the economy well that does not bode well here if um, if that's the case we can see copper trying to catch a little bit of bounce here in the pre-market but all we're doing is rallying back up to resistance and potential downtrend here in that chart on copper so copper not looking so good if we look at um, steel um, Cleveland Cliffs um, very very weak pushing back we've got US steel moving lower we've got MT moving lower there's a lot of of the commodity type steel not looking so good here suggesting once again with manufacturing and declines and things like that that our economy is weakening we'll want to watch those closely and particularly if the dollar strengthens i would look for these to potentially fall even more let's take a look at some of the tech out there you know one of them that's certainly notable is amd amd um, had well kind of some trouble on its earnings reports and then it was revealed that they were in collaboration collaboration with Microsoft for a um, AI chips and you can see just shot straight right back up now the last few days we're getting this little resting pullback in here and as this rest and pull back pulls back I would look for that next opportunity to maybe pick up a position here in AMD trying to hang in there looking pretty good um, to the upside um, if you're looking for short trades you might be taking a look at like KRE boy those regional banks continue to remain under pressure they're trying to pop this morning a little bit but you can see already in the pre-market feeling a little bit of pain here uh, back down watch KRE and maybe even XLF now I'll be honest I have a little bit of a bias on a short position I took a short position on XLF on Friday and the reason is is because we have this coming and pending situation of the commercial um, real estate defaults that are boy it's barreling down the line here pretty soon and we'll want to watch that carefully because I think that will affect the big major banks more uh, more so than the regionals but um, we'll want to watch that carefully if those defaults start to pick up on commercial real estate so keep a close eye on that other places that you might want to look in the market you know I've been mentioning Federal Express as a place to keep an eye on it boy we've pulled back and we're kind of slipping some of that support but this trend is going to be the telltale whether or not we can hold this trend now watch that carefully if that pops up maybe we might be able to glean from information like that that hey if we can pop out of here that the consumer is still strong that they're doing okay even though the boxing and you know the industry who makes boxes are seeing a rapid decline in the number of boxes being um, requested from these companies um, like Amazon so watch that closely we're going to need these shippers if we're going to be a bullish market so um, if this were to fail in here rally back and show a higher uh, lower high that's when I would start looking for a potential short but for now I continue to watch for that potential bullish side of the market so with that guys I'm running out of time here um, don't want to make this too long I want to wish you all a fantastic day I want to wish you great results in your trading thanks so much for listening thanks for being here I do truly appreciate it and we'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning I want to wish you all the best